Hey all, welcome back. This is Estrelog. So this is my Python tutorial series and last time we stopped on lists. So now we're going to talk a little more about lists and I'm going to tell you a little bit more of what we can do with them. They're actually really powerful. So if you remember, we defined a list as L equals open and close square brace. And if we print L, we print the empty list. Now I told you last time that we can append stuff to the list using this function. The dot means we're calling a function on the list. So we're passing in the list. This is an implicit notation in Python dot append uh, so some number five and we can we can add it to the list now another way to add stuff to the list is actually calling l equals so assignment remember l equals and we can say l so we can assign it to, to itself l equals l and if we do that it's just the same thing and l equals l plus we can concatenate it which means add it to another list so if we add a list of one now we print l we get five one l equals l plus let's say we do one two three uh, then we get a list five one one two three we can also do uh, generate a list there's a function function that generates a list so you give it a parameter and generate a list for you l equals uh, l plus range this is the function and then you have the start and then the stop so zero to ten so if you print L, it actually added 0 to 10. Here's what the function does. Range 0 to 10 actually gives you the range 0 to 10 uh, numerically. Now the other thing I want to start on, uh, touch upon, and I'm going to follow this up in the next video, is uh, list comprehensions. These are really, really cool things. So let's assign um, L to range 1 through 10. So L is our uh, array. And we can say, uh, this is really cool, we can say X times X for um, x in our list L. And what this means is it's going to take uh, every element in the list, it's going to use put it in this variable x, right? And then it's going to print out x times x, so it's going to make another list with uh, the values x times x for each element in the list. And so watch, watch how this does. See this squared everything? Uh, and I can do the same thing actually. Uh, you, you can add if uh, x is greater than 5. So that's going to do the same thing but only take the values that are greater than 5. So use these values. Okay, thank you for uh, listening and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.